What was the monster of Troy? Learn about it next on today's Creation Moment. And now, here's our Creation Moments host, Ian Taylor. While the word fossil is a modern term, people thousands of years ago may have known about fossils, and if they did, they didn't know what fossils were. Well, that's the new theory proposed by a group that includes a folklorist and some paleontologists. Their theory is based on the figures painted on a 2,500-year-old Corinthian vase. The colourful vase was made about 550 BC, called the Hesione vase, and it shows Hesione being rescued from the monster of Troy by the Greek hero Heracles. Only the monster's head is shown emerging from the cave. Those behind the new theory conclude that these were added to what was really a very common fossil in the area. The monster was evidently perceived as a sea serpent. However, paleontologists say that the area around the Aegean Sea, as well as western Turkey, contains many fossils of large giraffes, camels and horses. Sometimes they become exposed as the rocky hillsides weather away. When the ancient Greeks found these large fossils, they probably thought that they were the bones of gods or monsters. While this may seem superstitious to us today, we should be careful. Today's great superstition is that life evolved from non-living matter over millions of years. Belief in evolution is no less an attempt to escape acknowledging our Creator God than the legends of the ancient Greeks with their gods. St. Paul himself wrote that the eternal power and divine nature of God are evident through the creation. To purchase a copy of Ian Taylor's book, In the Minds of Men, call us toll-free at 800-42-BIBLE or visit us online at creationmoments.com and join us again for another Creation Moment, proclaiming evidence of God's truth.